Well, this was a very nice race. We have fantastic speed, uh, you know, reaching, uh, tight reaching, pretty hot. <laughs> and we was able to fly a little bit and that was very good. It was a great fight until the last uh, five minutes. We're, we were always at least two miles away from them. Um, we wanted to get as much leverage as we could after Redondo. They tacked immediately, which I think is what boats typically do, and we headed off uh, toward um, Montserrat. And I think that surprised them, and so we thought we would get a big split from them. And we got a reasonable size split, but they tacked and came back to cover us, as you would expect. And then after that, we were just looking for ways to kind of separate a little bit um, and see if that would give, uh, give us some advantages or some opportunities. <laughs> I was very happy to be here uh, to race uh, with Argo, that is uh, one of the best team uh, in the world. Uh, and there is plenty of fantastic sailors, they are very, very professional. So for us it was very important to, to race on the water. I think it's the first time in, in the history a multi-hall so big uh, came out of a uh, capsize in two days with no damage. Ah, that was really a miracle, that's for sure. I was amazed we got to the start line and then it's miraculous that we got to the finish as well. It was really incredible. It's very satisfying when you plan something, executed it, it's successful. But this is, this is more spontaneous and unpredictable and very bonding as a team to say you know, we went through a capsize together we went through 48 hours of working non-stop to fix it and then we went through a race and no crosswords so it's a hell of a team on board to be able to pull together and 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 have that sort of human side of it Honestly, the day before I was thinking, oh, it will never work. I was just, all the team were just focused on trying to make it work, but we were all thinking that it would be just uh, hard. And it was really, I'm really proud of all of this uh, team, all what they did. And uh, I'm thinking that a sailor needs to capsize at least once in his life. <laughs> I did it. I hope it's just down. <laughs> Um, we had a lot of help from some awesome other competitors, um, from some of the locals around here. Maurice's dive shop helped us out, Carlos helped us out, um, Shannon Pancone was out there with his team, some of the Arathusa guys came and helped out. Um, we had some people show up from, from Newport to help us put the boat back together, and obviously my team worked like 24-7 for all weekend to try and get the boat back together, uh, both sailors and shore crew. Uh, Jim and Charlie alike and you know we just said like let's take it hour by hour and if uh, Monday morning comes around and we can race let's do it and if not then you know we'll do the responsible thing and wait for the next event but when uh, the sun came up on Monday morning we were ready to go. This is an adventure and this is something I will remember all my life. <laughs>